Hey everyone, Daniel from Twin Bytes with another tutorial for you. This time I'm going to show you how you can fix your printer if it's not printing. There's a few physical issues that the printer might have and then there's some stuff on the software side. So really quickly on the hardware side, you might have a paper jam in the printer that you got to pull some paper out of the back or the top or the side. Depending on your type of printer, they're all going to be a little different. So anywhere where there's a drawer or uh, a back door on some of the printers or even where the feeder is, check all those places to see if there's paper stuck. It might even be just a tiny little piece that broke off some time ago and didn't affect it until now. There could be some kind of a electrical jam of some sort. You can try just simply turning the printer off and back on again. If you're using a USB cable or a network Ethernet cable, it could be that there's a bad connection there. So just simply unplug the cable out of the back and plug it back in again to make sure that it's in there really good and snug. If it's connected wirelessly, then you're going to want to check to make sure that the wireless settings are correct and that the printer is connected to your wireless network. Also what you could do, similar to another video I made about the computer, you can just unplug any and all cables that are in the printer and leave it unplugged and turned off for at least 30 minutes. Then you can plug back in the power and network or USB cables if they apply and then try printing again. Other than those physical things, there's a couple of things on the computer that you may find. If you go in your control panel, you can uh, do a search for printers or you can say view devices and printers. And your printer will be different, but what I like to do is right click on the printer and go to see what's printing. There's a lot that we can do from here. First you're going to see what the print job is that is stuck in there. And what you can do is just go up to printer and cancel all documents and that will cancel everything that's in there. It might take a few minutes, but give it uh, two minutes maybe it should clear everything out. You might see that in the list of devices and printers that the printer is grayed out looking. And if you go into the see what's printing, you may see that it says use printer offline at the top. So if you click on printer, you'll see a check mark beside use printer offline. Just click on that. It removes the check mark and you see it removes that wording up there and the printer is not grayed out anymore. Other than that, there might be an issue with the printer spooler service. So if you go back into your control panel and just do a search for services and you'll see view local services, gives you a list of all the services in Windows. Just click on anything and type P for printer and then scroll down until you find print spooler. It'll show that it's running most likely and set to automatic, which is what it should be. But what you can do is just right click on it and go to restart. It's then going to go through stopping and starting the service and it should go back to running again. If you're still not able to print, then you could just try removing that printer and then reinstalling it again. You may have to go into your add remove programs or programs and features and just uninstall the printer that way and then go to the manufacturer's website to download the latest driver for that printer. If your printer still isn't working and it's a network printer, you may have some kind of network misconfiguration on that printer that you can reset or just go through the settings manually and check it. Otherwise, you might be in for a new printer. If you think I missed anything, comment below. Otherwise, if you found this video helpful, please do give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.